Commander? Hello? Anne? You here? Anne? Oh, Commander. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. You alright? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. I took it out on him. It's so stupid. I understand. But we really need your help. I know. I know. I'm just uh, a little lost seeing all this again. He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still I am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I loved that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. 
I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. Then help us hunt down whatever's responsible. You're our last chance. Okay. If anyone can sort through this mess, it's me. Anne. You sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now... It might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Hey, Lola. Need a hand? What brings you down here, James? Heard you're closing in on the Reaper Killer. Anything that can scare those bastards has to be worth a look. That's what I'm hoping. Commander, you see this thing? This is great! Hey, Edie, the husk bites, they don't turn you into a husk or anything, right? I recommend you apply Metagel. Hey, if nobody claims this thing, we could take it with us. You know, for research or, I don't know, whatever. All right, just don't tell anybody. Nice. You think Esteban will let me set up all the things in the cargo bay? didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes, but this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. Right, just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs, but he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God, he'd have hated dying here. Anne, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us. I don't think there's anything more I can tell you, but maybe. I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. I don't like it. But we're out of options. You know better than I do what Leviathan's capable of when threatened. 
I know it's a long shot, but I have to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. <sighs> Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. This is pretty gutsy. I don't know about guts. <sighs> Crazy, maybe. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie? No trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Yo! Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you, and the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Belay that, Lieutenant. Signal is fading. Maintain connection. We can fight them. We can win this. The cycle cannot be broken. You're wrong. Focusing the point of origin. Maintain connection to narrow the search. I'm stopping this! Back off! Where are you? Where are you? Beyond reach. Trace complete. James! Got it! Okay. Yeah. We're good. Shit. Edie, update. You want a sit rep? Are you kidding me? Look at her. I got it, Lieutenant. Edie? We have a location. <sighs> Hang in there. Leviathan coordinates sent to the Normandy, Shepard. <sighs> I hope it was worth it. It will be. I'm taking her to Med Lab. See you back on the Normandy. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of cerise ice brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses, I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero, is sorry. But it's ma'am to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard. You know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard. Hero of the Citadel. Conqueror of the Collectors. Savior of the Galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I'm proud to call my friend. 
I am lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you. Commander Shepard, and good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on VidCom. than light jump successful. Signal confirmed. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. I'm still not sure what we're expecting to find down there. Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. It appears it doesn't wish to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. But then what? If it turns out to be a Reaper... Are we really going to offer an alliance? We're not going to win this war by turning away help, even if it does have blood on its hands. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not going to like it. It's here. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. Possible? Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Everyone all right? I'm okay. 
here. How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. It would seem others have been stranded here as well. We aren't the first to encounter that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Shepard, it's one of the artifacts. Any idea how old explains why no one gets up? The bones are untouched by scavengers. If they rotted clean from humidity and exposure, it might take more than a year. Same thing would happen to her, and the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. Then we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. A 
diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. I'm game. We chase Leviathan this far. Let's finish this. It's a long ways down. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hear you. Time's wasting. Shepard, perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. Are we seriously proposing? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? I suppose we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. We got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Shepard, I understand the reasons, but this is a big risk. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Shepard. I'll be fine. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Good so far? Copy that. Cortez? Cortez!
Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I've finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. Shutting down all non-critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. Can't see anything just yet. Probe. Seems intact. I'm gonna keep moving. happening. You took down a Reaper. You could help win this war. Why the hell are you hiding down here? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. at any 
many cast. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew until it found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. that machine despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled, removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle and for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly. Yet, that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. You release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. You're responsible for this. Every race that's ever been destroyed is because of you. And now the Reapers will destroy you too, unless you start fighting. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop, ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. is singular. 
I've earned it. Out there fighting, where you should be. It's clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Fine. Hell of a headache. Don't ever do that again. What happened down there? We found it. It's real. A lot more than we ever imagined. So was it worth almost dying for? It was. We exposed it. Pushed it into the light. Whether it likes it or not, it's part of this war now. And it's gonna help fight. It sounds like an impressive accomplishment. Yeah. One for the history books. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcom. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. 
Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I'm glad it's having an effect, but so far, hope hasn't been the thing winning this war. It's been blood, sweat, and more blood. But a lot of these resistance fighters were just farmers and teachers a few weeks ago. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Faith. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. More Reapers in one place just makes them easier to kill. Leave it to you to make a full-scale Reaper invasion sound like a good thing. I just want to end them. Forever. You and me both. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. Commander? Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. 
A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system, when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geral. We need to retreat or we'll lose the life ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tali. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I came hoping your fleet would help me retake Earth. Don't worry. We pay our debts. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or... However much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. <laughs>